welcome to my weekly vlog, Deborah Kier's Art Journey. Have you guys got some favorite art books? I have some favorites and they change, they rotate in time, but in this moment in time, I thought I'd share with you some of the ones that I'm reading now. My absolute favorite currently, and the one I keep going to, is the Vermeer and the Masters of Genre Painting catalog that I got from the show in January at the National Gallery of Art. I would love to take a decade and copy all of these paintings. In fact, I have been doing a little bit of that. Um, I'm not going to share any of them, but I learned so much from the catalogs, and oftentimes those aren't listed in artists' favorite books. I don't know why. They should be, I think. Soroya, he's one of my favorite all-time master artists. I love this book because it's got lots of pictures of his works, and... Uh, I find them very inspiring. Daniel Gerhardt's Not Far From Home. I've not actually, I've met him, but I've not actually spent any time with him. Um, if he's anything like his painting, he's amazing. I just get so much inspiration from the color and the way that he turns form. And these, this book has so many great, great color plates in it. Richard Schmidt. I'm not even an a la prima painter and I love his books so what does that say? <laughs> it says he's amazing. Um, a la prima. I have what number one as well but I actually like number two better and then the companion. Now another book that I find myself going to quite a bit and I try to read it at least once a year just to stay up on all of the concepts that are in here because there's so much information about illustration, about painting fantasy, about um, you know painting classically, Color and Light by James Gurney. That's a must have. If my house were burning down, I would take that one with me. Maybe not, maybe I would just buy another one. Classical Painting Atelier by Juliet Aristides. I love this because it goes through all of the typical curriculum in a classical painting atelier and gives you you know her version of um, how she would teach that so if you're teaching classes oftentimes this is a good reference just to make sure you don't miss anything as you're conveying and sharing your information and then this one Andrew Loomis's creative illustration this is a book that I go to whenever I'm I've got a sort of a question or a challenge in drawing he has all kinds of great um, advice about color theory uh, massing values it's just a great basic understanding of not only illustration in my opinion, but every good painting starts with a good drawing. So um, I love this book too. That's what's in my bookshelf. And if you would share in the comments section what you've got going on in yours, I would be so thrilled to, to know. Maybe I'll pick up some new books. <laughs>